uh, my name is Rami Anis. I'm from Aleppo, Syria. I'm 28 years old. Uh, I started swimming when I was six years old. Uh, my uncle, he supported me to start swimming. Uh, I had dream to, to be an Olympian, Olympic swimmer. I had a lot of friends in Syria. Uh, everything, it was perfect for me. After the war started, all my life changed. I decided to go to Turkey. I got very small bag with me. I thought the war will finish after two months. I came to here, to Istanbul, to, to start a new life. The swimmers here in, in my club, they are very friendly. Uh, they are very good people. They want to support me like, Rami, keep going, don't give up. Maybe one day you will go back to your country and to compete. So it was very hard for me to, to keep swimming without any supporting for anyone. So because of that, I decided to go to, to Europe, to Belgium, because I heard from one of my friends that uh, if I go to Belgium, I can be able to swim with the, with the clubs in, in Belgium. My trip started from Izmir to, to Greece. I got the boat uh, from, from Izmir to, to be in, in Greece. The trip it was so hard. Uh, and after Greece, I got the pass to, to go to another country. And finally, I, I arrived to, to Belgium. And then I, I found the new people, new friends, new swimming pool, new club. And then I heard from someone of my friend that the president of the International Olympic Committee, he went to visit the, the camps of the refugees and he decided to, to give 10 tickets to 10 athletes that they, they can compete in the Olympic Games under the Olympic flag. I remember the day before the result, I couldn't sleep because just I was thinking, I'm really going to the Olympics or what? So the day after, they choose my name, the first one. So my friend, Yusra Mardini, the, the one who competed with, the, with our team, she's a swimmer too. Uh, she called me, she said, Rami, now I received mail, we will compete together. So we will be together in the Olympic Games. So I said, what? Oh my God, I cannot believe that. Uh, it was like a dream for me and I didn't wake up. I'm really going to the Olympics, so I was so excited to, to go there, to see all the best athletes in the world, to stay with them in the same village, to compete. So it was a very amazing experience for me to, to be there. Uh, our team, were like, uh, we were from different countries, from different language, but we competed in the same team to re represent the Refugee Olympic team, the first Refugee Olympic team ever. We gave uh, a message to all the refugees around the world, like, look, I had nothing. I, I just keep, keep going until to achieve my dreams. Now I have a chance to go to the Olympics and you too, you can uh, continue to, to achieve what you want. So just uh, do what you want to do. Uh, you will, one day you will achieve what you want. Uh, so after the Olympic Games, uh, the International Olympic Committee, they, they wanted to, to continue supporting me until Tokyo. It was very uh, good news for me to to have a supporting from the International Olympic Committee. I wanted to go back to Turkey because I love the country here. I love to stay here. I have a lot of friends in uh, Turkey and most of my family, they are living here in Istanbul. I had uh, contact with the Turkish uh, Olympic Committee here. I, I explained to them that I want to go back to Turkey. Can you help me to, to let me come back to here again to, to swim with the club? So now I'm training with Galatasaray again. They were very friendly with me. They accept me and they are trying to help me as, as, as they can. In the same time, I, I, I have supporting from the International Olympic Committee, like what I want for my training camp, for my stuff, everything I can 
I can get. I would like to say thank you for, for your supporting me to, to help me to, to continue my dreams in, in swimming. So I'm swimming for Tokyo now, training hard. But always when, when I feel my pain, I just remember that Rami, one day you will go to, to the Olympics again, 2020. So you have to push yourself, you have to do what you can do. So I'm super excited to go to Tokyo. Uh, and from my heart, I wish one day the world will stop in Syria and to, to go back to my country to represent my Syrian team, to get my flag in my hand, because there is nothing better than your country. You will not feel the same when you compete under your flag. So I wish one day I will go back to my country to represent my, my, my team. Thank you.